Carbohydrates. Today we're gonna to talk carbohydrates. If there's one thing that drives me crazy, it's that a lot of people talk carbohydrates, but not a lot of people understand carbs. Let's just shorten it to carbs here. So I'm gonna cover some of the basics here today to get us all on the same page for future talks. Because I could give some talks that are very in detail that I think would really help many people in this regard, but we gotta start with the basics and build up. Let me ask you a couple questions. Have you ever wondered why most people that call themselves vegetarians are not skinny little bean poles? Or tell me if you've heard this as many times as I have, you know, people will go to eat uh, potatoes and they'll say, oh, I don't eat potatoes, they're packed with carbs. Or they're gonna eat a sweet potato and it's good carbs. We're always told eat more fruits and vegetables. Well, a lot of them are primarily carbs. So does this mean they're bad? Listen, I'm gonna keep this simple. We aren't going to talk about the thermic effect of food or the glycemic index today, although we can cover those later. I'm not gonna cite any scientific studies. I'm just gonna give you a good old carbohydrates 101. So let, here it is. What are carbs? They're sugars. Carbs are sugars. What are simple carbs and what are complex carbs? Start with simple. Simple are just one or two sugars molecules together. They're just small, they're simple. And you may have heard these called monosaccharides, mono meaning one, saccharide, sugar, or disaccharide, two, sugars. So simple carbs are simple sugars. It's one or two sugars connected together. The perfect analogy for this would be, remember those little blocks you used to get as kids that kind of plugged together into the big long chain? If you plugged one or two of those together, that would be a monosaccharide or a disaccharide, that'd be a simple sugar. These small sugars are digested easily. They break down simple because there's only one or two of them. And when they do this, they're absorbed very quickly, just right outside of the stomach in the small intestine. When they do this, they cause your blood sugar to spike. So what does our body do when the blood sugar spikes? With these simple carbohydrates, these monosaccharides and disaccharides, what does it do? The body goes, wow, there's a whole bunch of sugar here that got absorbed very quickly. And it pours out all of this insulin. And your pancreas does, it pours out this insulin and the insulin works to gobble up the sugar. And what's the sugar do? The minute that it's all gobbled up, you crash. We've all seen it. You have this big sugar load meal and then you're just terrible tired afterwards. It's because your body's put out all this insulin to absorb all that sugar. And then what happens? Not long thereafter, you're hungry again because all of your sugars are gone. So these simple sugars, these uh, simple carbohydrates, they're present in a lot of foods and drinks where sugar is added in. The most common things are things like white bread or sugary drinks. You know, a simple uh, soda pop has over 30 grams of sugar. Candy, these are all simple sugar type things. I could go on and on. Before we talk too much about simple sugars or simple carbs, let's talk about complex carbs or complex sugars. These are those that are made up of multiple sugar molecules stuck together in big long chains. And going back to that analogy I told you about the chain of the little blocks you plugged together as a kid, uh, those, if you put a whole bunch of them together, that would be a complex carbohydrate or a complex sugar. We know these as polysaccharides. Poly means many, saccharide again meaning sugar. And they're more complex in structure because they're bigger. And because of this, they're broken down more slowly in your body. They also tend to, by chance, have more fiber associated with them. A lot of the complex carbohydrates are more fiber rich foods. Because of these factors, these complex carbohydrates, again, broken down slowly, associated with fiber often, they are digested slowly. And by doing so, you don't get that spike that you get with those simple sugars, that big rush of, of, of energy molecules. It's kind of a sustained, slow release, so to say. And you get this sustained, slow release energy and food source for your body. This means that we don't get hungry as quickly or as easily, and we don't have that big crash that we sometimes have after a big sugar load that prompts our body to put out all of that insulin. So what types of foods have complex carbohydrates? Whole grains, fruits, vegetables. Now you remember some of the, the first examples I gave you about why don't we see beanpole vegetarians? Well, this is why. A lot of the fruits and vegetables or the whole grains, those things are complex carbohydrates, released slowly, slow steady source of energy, oh, but they're still sugars. Potatoes, the one that everybody says, oh, it's full of carbs. Again, it's a complex carbohydrate. Beans, everybody knows that the beans tend to be good, so I won't pick on that one too much. But the difference here again is just that structure. Rice, here's a common one. We have dark rice and white rice. Now, I think most people know that white rice is, is not as healthy as dark. Well, why? It's because the white rice has been refined. It's been processed. The brown rice is whole. It's as is, it's whole grain. That means your brown rice has more protein, more fiber. It's gonna be slower to break down. It's gonna take you longer to get hungry again. It's gonna keep your energy up for a little longer than that white rice spike. 
So this is how we can choose in our carbohydrates to actually still eat carbohydrates and do fairly well. So here's the thing about carbohydrates. Everybody needs them. Carbs are not terrible. What are sugars? Sugars are energy. Our body needs energy. So we're going to take these carbohydrates and we're going to break them down and we're going to use what's in them. But here's the key. When we get that spike in the carbohydrates, the simple sugars, the monosaccharides and disaccharides, you break them down. What the body does is it takes them. It first takes all the sugars, breaks them down, uses a bunch of little ones for energy. Once its energy is satisfied, it stores a bunch of glycogen. This is big, long chains of sugar together, often stored in your liver and your muscles. That's for later use. And then what's to do with the rest of those simple sugars? You guessed it. Stores them as fat. That's where these simple sugars come across and where they get us. So, you might say, okay, that's simple and complex carbohydrates. You now understand kind of that, but how can you tell what is in the foods you're getting? Unfortunately, you're going to need to become a label reader. You have to look and see what sugar added. Sometimes it says right up front there because there are standards that where they have to add when they've added in sugars. If it says sugar added, it's going to end up being simple. It's not going to be a complex carb. It's going to be a simple carb. It's going to be one of those ones that's broken down, that goes into that body quickly, gets that spike that we don't like, stores that fat that we don't like. So sugar added. Look for that on the labels. Other thing you can look for on labels is the ending O-S-E, O-S. If you see sucrose, fructose, dextrose, maltose, I think you get it, O-S. Those are all sugars. Now, the higher up the ingredients list they are on the label, that's the more added sugar that the, that the food or the product you're about to eat has. So see where those oses are on the label, higher up the worst. Now, the tricky thing here is, is that remember there's gonna be a lot of carbs, some simple carbs in fact, that occur naturally. For example, milk and lactose. Generally though, naturally occurring carbs are, di are digested in a more balanced manner without such a rapid uptake as these added sugars. Fruit's a good example of this. Most fruits do have simple sugars, but they have fiber in them. And this slows the digestion, it slows the uptake of the sugars, and that's why they're not as bad as those foods with the added sugars. And the next thing you should look for in a label, so remember, first we're looking for our oses and where they are. We're looking for added sugar. The next thing you should look for is the word processed. If you don't see processed, look for the word refined. If you see processed or refined, this needs to take you back to what I just said a minute ago about white rice or versus brown rice. White rice, is just refined or processed. It's worse for you. We do not want processed or refined on that label. If we see that, we're more likely to be getting some of these simple carbohydrates, simple sugars that aren't as good for us. Remember, if you remember anything from this, remember that carbohydrates are not bad. They are a source of energy and fuel for our bodies. It's the type and the amounts of carbohydrates that matter. That determines how the body takes them up. It affects how our, our appetites are. It affects how they're stored. And remember, a well-balanced diet with complex carbohydrates and limited simple sugars, limited simple carbohydrates is ideal. We'll end with this. I frequently get asked, this is one of the most common questions, what percentage of my diet should be carbohydrates? You're not gonna like my answer here. This is a person-to-person -person answer and it depends on your current physical stature. It depends on your current fat stores, your current muscle mass. It's person-to-person -person separate and it's also goal-to-goal -goal specific on where we're trying to get with someone. I'm not gonna leave you with no answer though. But if you wanna know where I keep my own personal carbohydrates and my diet, I keep them to about 30% of my total calorie count. So I roughly do about a 50% protein diet, 30% carbs, 30% fats. I hope that helps you, if anything, a little bit on carbohydrates. Hope this is a little refresher for you going into the new year when you hear people talking carbs. We're gonna do more talks on this and I promise you I can go deeper and deeper and deeper into it until you do get something out of it. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Joe Ramos. Live optimized. Mm -hmm.